it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episodes 9 and 10 of season 2 of Squid Girls. It's got to get started with episode 9 and 3, 2, hold on, and 3, 2, 1, go. Hello? Huh? Uh, oh! Oh, pretend, of course. <laughs> oh, family issues. Okay. <laughs> The typical, you know, husband and wife relationship. They're playing house. Right? We get, you know? Um, everyone's going to play house today. She would, yes, yeah, she would. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you. 
show me. I feel like she watches too many dramas, but you know, that's okay. I mean, you know, hey, she's at home with her family. What? This is complicated now. Jesus Christ. No. Right? I mean, Echo, dang, you know, maybe we should all go home. That sure was. Where the fuck did that show get her ideas from? Right? Like, where does she get these ideas? TV. It's them soap operas, baby. <laughs> mm. Well, what is she going to do with it? Uh huh. Yeah.
Mm-hmm. Basically, yeah. Yeah, like, so for me, when I go to work, I, I make sure to bring a lot of things. Also snacks, because you always got to have snacks. I mean, I'm there for five hours. You need perfume for perfume. You need um, extra toiletries for, like, anything, because you never know what's going to happen. You know, same thing with clothes. Up <laughs> oh, schedule. <laughs> A water break. <laughs> water break. Mm -hmm. Hydration. <laughs> Yeah, that's not really good. <laughs> Heck, you know I'm hungry. Where are my things at? There they are. Even though I'm probably going to be eating dinner after I'm done recording this. <laughs> Show busy. Is she in the bag? She's in the bag. Yes, basically. You don't have to. <laughs> you made the food burn? Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, you want to be responsible, though. Uh, not now! Oh shit, Inka forgot her schedule. Uh, Sane? Wait, hold on. Wait, wait.
Shall we go in the amusement park now? Well, you know, <laughs> it's a place you go to have fun. Seriously? I was expecting, like, Disneyland, you know, not whatever this is. Oh, shit. Oh, Echo. from <laughs> well it's Inca of course you got this just pace yourself Yeah, but no offense, I would have rather gone to Mouse Slam. Damn. Look at Takeru. Takeru, like, oh my god, I want to end this. It gonna break down.
But you do, though. Oh. It's something better than nothing, though. Right. Right. Watch it be up in the next minute. No, nothing. I gotta put my Choco Shrooms down. <laughs> he basically had the amusement park to end, so he was like a bunny curl bar. <laughs> I mean, okay, one, it's kind of a smart idea, but I mean, hey, he's, a, he's an investor. If he thinks the music parts are dead, you know, he's like, yes, let's do something else. Bunny girl bars. <laughs> no, let's talk about the little girl, Risa, who is so in love with soap opera. <laughs> you would be standing there. Being in love with soap operas. Bruh. <laughs> That's some days of our lives shit. It's, see, it's so funny because, like, okay. I had a conversation with my mom and my grandma before, wait, years before, um, my grandmother had passed. And we were talking about soap operas, right? And the conversation that I had with my mom and the conversation that I had my, with my grandma were two different, uh, situations on soap operas so when you're looking at shows that you watch um I, I remember because she was like <laughs> my grandma told me well Deja you're practically watching soap operas as well and I didn't I was like no I'm not I was like I'm not really into like the days of our lives or whatever other soap opera that airs around like 1 12 to like 2 3 in the afternoon before all these talk shows come out and she was like, no, in a way you do. Whatever you're watching on, like, whatever network around, like, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night, those are your, quote-unquote, soap operas. Then a couple of years later, kind of, like, maybe a couple of years after my grandmother had passed away, I brought that conversation up again with my mom. And my mom had basically said the same thing, that when you're watching certain shows that you're, you know, staying up late, whether it's, you know, 8 or even two, three, four o'clock in the morning, and you're tweeting about it, those are your quote-unquote soap operas. And even now, I still don't consider that because, like, I, I barely watch, like, regular-ass television anymore because, <laughs> one, I watch too, way too much fucking anime now, and then sometimes I just don't feel like it. I only will watch shows that I still like, so sometimes... Um, it is a little hard for me to get into new shows because I felt like, do I really have time to sit here and watch this? Because, like, there was this one show, um, I was watching on NBC called The End Game, and I, I, like, yeah, that and another show called Good Sam. And Good Sam was really good, and I, I just haven't had the time to catch up with it. So my mom has watched it. But The End Game, I only watched, like, one episode, one or two episodes of it, and I had it on a full series recording. 
and I recently just watched TV, like, last night, just regular old cable um, television with AT&T U-verse, and I was like, oh, well, I'm going to watch my reality TV shows, yada, yada, and I had, like, 16 episodes of the Endgame on our DVR list, and I busted out laughing. I was like, bro, I haven't even watched this show in a while, what the fuck? But, yeah, when, when it depends on, like, soap operas, what I consider anime, like, a, you know, cartoonish as soap opera, depending on what it is, yeah, I, I mean, you know, we all have our different genres of anime soap operas, so it could be, you know, a slice of life, it could be, um, a comedy, a, a romance, a horror, which I really need more horror anime, because I'm sorry, I need that in my life. That's why I really want someone to recommend or like, please, for the love of God, request monster, please, because I want to react to that so fucking bad. Um, or in the end, I'm probably going to either do it on my own or just watch it on my own. Um, I really just anything because we're all into different things. Like, we all know that I love this shit out of Magical Girl and fucking idol anime and shit. And then plus, depending on what it is, if it's really good. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 10. Okay, episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> I hate the fact that I only got two of these and... Oh my god, these are so good. <laughs> and then the only way that I can get them is if I go to Five Below, which is like five, ten minutes away from now, from my house. I don't always feel like driving over there. Not over at St. John's house, I don't know. But it's so good. <laughs> Like, the first time I had these, I only bought one bag, right? And I ate them in a couple of days, and I was like, the next time I go to Five Below, I'm gonna go get more. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, mom. Damn, already? And you already have a whole bunch, Inka. She's right. Yep, be nice.
I don't think so for Inca. Inca gonna eat it regardless. That water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you hungry? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Drink a lot of water. She's still taking a whole bunch of she really don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. She's right. Dumbing. Oh. Well, you can cook them and then just save them for tomorrow. You sure you don't have room for more? Oh, well, that's life. Talking to you didn't get anything? Poor baby. <laughs> he ain't getting no food. And they were like, yes, let's go eat this. Mm.
Do you want to learn self-defense? Why do I feel like Inka's also going to learn self-defense in this episode as well? I mean, it would make the most sense, but... <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, she has self-defense. Okay, well, you know, you, um, you jab their, their neck and then you kick them in the balls. Or, you know, you do the other thing. You get a taser and you just like, yeah, yeah. Or you get some pepper spray and, you know, eh. Mm -mm, you might kick somebody. Yeah, hell, you might even kill someone. Yeah, but you're going to get your ass beat. Yeah, how you doing down there, huh? <laughs> sure. <laughs> of course you can you just have to try enjoying all of that. There you go. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> the rebellious stage. <laughs> sure.
she put him in the fucking True. So how do you attract customers with this? No, you're gonna make it freezing cold. figures What the f- <laughs> Oh my god! You make a snow angel? No, what? Inca, no! Damn, did we have to make it that big? Mm. Right. Oh, you're right! Is this Cindy? <laughs> Haven't had that. Y'all just want her to get sick, damn. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
what well, damn You telling me that little freaking machine made this big oh Jesus Christ That's not good you'll die Of course, it would be fucking broken. It could be anywhere right now. It could be the New York fucking city right now. Huh? <laughs> she going crazy, poor baby. Switch it now. Yeah, but it's going to be really hot in a few. So, yep, go ahead and take the coats off. Oh my god. <laughs> no, it's hot outside. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Y'all went through Yes, please get outside and take the damn coats off. <laughs> yes, summer is the best time. Literally, as a Floridian. <laughs> She's walking in the cold. That's so cute. Bro, what the fuck was this episode <laughs> See, here's the thing. The only thing I can say is this just reminds me of a Floridian because sometimes in a nutshell, we will get the entirety of four seasons in a one whole week. Like, okay, so a couple of weeks ago, this is like maybe in the middle of April or towards the beginning of April, we had like a really bad storm, <laughs> storm come in while I was at work. And it only like, it, it was supposed to be sunny all day. So then it was like maybe I think two or three o'clock, three, maybe four o'clock in the afternoon. And then all of a sudden it started to rain really, really hard. And I was like, bruh, then about five minutes later, it was completely sunny outside. And I was like, mm -hmm. that is the seasons of Florida in a nutshell. Like we go through the entirety of this four seasons in a quick, fast <laughs> pace. Cause one day it could be hot. It could be cold. Um, and it can be really, really rainy and windy as hell. You just never know what the hell you're going to find in Florida, especially where I live in Florida. It's funny, very, very funny. But then at the same time, when you want to go outside and wear some shorts, 50 out of 50, you can't wear shorts because it's cold outside. But I thought it was really cool to see, you know, have an episode where they had to go against being hot and cold and going against different types of weather. I mean, I think it's it kind of gave me, like, a little bit of feels of the day after tomorrow, um, which I have not seen that movie in years. Uh, I think the last time I saw that movie, I was either 
in my first year of high school or I literally, I think it was like my junior year, um, cause my science teacher wanted to play it for us. And there, I had a whole bunch of friends who had never seen the movie. And I was like, you've never seen that? I was like, oh my God, it's, it's a good ass film. Um, and very educational at the same time. <laughs> like, bruh. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, like seriously, in a nutshell, like, okay. So if I didn't like, thank God I ain't got to work this weekend. But let's say this weekend I did work and it was rainy. And so let's say, or no, sunny, but maybe like cool at the same time. And I wanted to wear, um leggings and stuff these certain type of black leggings i would be cool in the store but once i go outside that's a completely different fucking story i'd be hot as hell ah, because like okay my store my um my manager likes to keep it really really cold in the store especially whether it's in the mornings or in the afternoons depending on what day i work and i've now been smart and i'm like i'm gonna go ahead and bring a jacket to work with me because there was last week I got really, really cold in the store. And I was like, bruh, it shouldn't be cold in here. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> but it happens. Like, sometimes you'd be like, you're like, Jesus, it's a little too cold in here. <laughs> I mean, I know it's hot outside, but damn. Oh, my God. I get that. Because, I, I mean, it is technically we're in summer for Florida. But, I mean, come on now. Come on now. Like, seriously, imagine, like, Texas... Hell, my friends in Nebraska, like, bro, I can't imagine. It gets too fucking hot there. But, yeah, I really enjoyed both of these episodes a lot. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 9 and 10 of season 2 of Squid Girl. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next <clears throat> Saturday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for I think the last two episodes of season two and then the week after that I think the OVAs which I don't really know how many episodes are in the OVAs it could be one it could be two and then after that we start my next series but until then I will see you guys all next time bye